The Orlando metropolitan area is considered one of the fastest developing regions in the nation. Along with being the country's most popular travel destination, it is home to several vibrant communities and thriving business centers. However, the increase in population has brought about new challenges to the area. I-4 is backed up in both directions, so expect a long blaze in the commute home. I-4 congestion from the 408 all the way through the downtown area. Orlando has already a lot to offer, so people are going to move to Florida, people are going to move to Orlando and the surrounding, you know, Seminole County, Lake Mary, and Osceola, uh, you know, but what we don't want, you know what, we love Orlando, we love Mickey Mouse, we love Walt Disney, Universal, the Church Street facilities, Great Mall, the Millennium Mall, all of those, but that gum, that I-4, that's a, that's a headache. Well, guess what, we're going to fix that headache. Orlando is considered to be the 15th most congested city in America. Last year alone, this severe congestion is estimated to cost over $800 million. And if left unchanged, this number, along with overall congestion, will only increase yearly. As part of this project, we have a number of goals we're trying to accomplish. One of these goals is to address the region's growth by adding capacity to this already congested facility. The I-4 corridor serves approximately 175,000 trips per day, and projections show that this is expected to increase by over 1.5% per year for the next 20 years. Transportation officials are developing an ambitious plan to improve the area's transportation infrastructure by constructing three major projects. The Sunrail commuter train from Deland to Point Siena, the Wakaiva Parkway project, which completes the beltway around metropolitan Orlando, and the I-4 Ultimate construction project. We cannot not afford to do this project because anybody who's uh, driven in Central Florida, I-4 is your major, your major backbone in this area and not doing this project is just puts Orlando at a, a competitive disadvantage. Interstate 4 is often called the backbone of transportation in Central Florida. It extends 132 miles from Tampa to Daytona Beach and accommodates an average of 1.5 million trips daily in Osceola, Orange, Seminole, and Volusia counties. I-4 is often called the transportation backbone of Central Florida, and I-4 is part of that network that enhances Florida's transportation mobility and economic competitiveness. This project will improve approximately 21 miles of I-4 in Seminole and Orange counties. The Florida Department of Transportation, working with the Federal Highway Administration, Metro Plan Orlando, and the Orlando Orange County Expressway Authority, developed corridor improvements for I-4 that will improve interchanges and provide new capacity through median express lanes. These I-4 improvements from west of Kirkman Road in Orange County to east of State Road 434 in Seminole County are now ready to move to final design and construction. Following years of analysis, planning, and extensive public outreach in accordance with the National Environmental Protection Act process. The FDOT has identified approximately 71 bridges that are going to be removed and replaced. The FDOT envisions the State Road 408 Maitland Boulevard and Kirkman Road interchanges to all be complex interchange reconstructions. The preliminary indicative design includes approximately 58 new bridges in the corridor, one of which is the pedestrian overpass at Maitland Boulevard. The I-4 Ultimate Improvements Project includes adding express lanes, also referred to as managed lanes. Managed lanes are essentially a highway within a highway, where the lanes are physically separated from the existing toll-free lanes and tolled at varying rates throughout the day, depending on travel demand. This congestion management approach enables motorists to select a reliable long-distance travel option when their time is more valuable than the toll being charged. 
So what you're gonna see is people making those value choices that all of us make day in and day out. And by putting express lanes in the middle, which will be physically separated from the general purpose lanes, in the event there's an accident on the general purpose lane and you're running late to catch a plane or uh, go to a doctor's appointment or you know get to pick your uh, kid up from daycare, uh, you can make the value choice and get on express lane and uh, get, get to your destination in a predetermined amount of time. Providing limited access to the managed lanes allows optimal traffic operations by promoting longer trips through the congested I-4 corridor. Electronic message signs placed in advance of the entrance of the express lanes will display the current toll relative to the time of day, as well as real-time traffic information. Congestion levels on the express lanes will be managed by a varying toll rate known as congestion pricing, which will provide continual free flow conditions in the express lanes. Parallel median slip ramps will provide access to and from the general purpose lanes, and direct connection ramps will provide access from the surrounding roadway network. The planned improvements begin at Kirkman Road, west of downtown Orlando, near Universal Studios and the International Drive attractions. The Kirkman Interchange will be reconfigured to improve traffic operations and alleviate congestion at the interchange. The left exits off of I-4 will be replaced with more traditional exit ramps on the right side of the freeway. Extensive coordination with the City of Orlando resulted in the addition of the Grand National Drive extension over I-4 to provide a much needed bypass for the heavy tourist traffic in the area. The I-4 State Road 408 interchange is one of Florida's most heavily traveled. Interim improvements completed in 2009 will be expanded upon by providing third and fourth level direct connect flyover ramps from State Road 408 westbound to I-4 westbound and from I-4 westbound to State Road 408 eastbound. Significant work is also planned on State Road 408, including reconstructing the mainline bridges over I-4. Another goal of the project, not only to increase the capacity though, is to replace an aging infrastructure. I-4 was originally constructed in the early, starting in the early 60s, and as many of you know, it's been widened a number of times since then. Many of the bridges in this corridor are over 50 years old and will be expected to be structurally deficient within the next 40 years. With the expansion of the roadway, noise becomes an issue that must be confronted. A comprehensive noise study was conducted to identify impacts and provide noise abatement to adjacent properties. Sound walls are recommended at numerous locations along the corridor, including both 22-foot tall ground-mounted and shoulder-mounted walls ranging in height from 8 to 18 feet. Improvements are planned throughout the approximately 21-mile corridor to improve safety. In the Winter Park area, improvements to the vertical and horizontal alignment of I-4 are being proposed to increase safety of this portion that was originally built to 1960s standards. The vertical curvature in this area will be flattened to today's more stringent standards, increasing the design speed to 60 miles per hour. The horizontal curvature will be improved, most notably through the Fairbanks curve. In addition, shoulders will be increased to 10 feet in width. Now one of the key goals for us as well is safety. The I-4 improvements will result in increased safety and a net reduction in crashes in the corridor. In the Winter Park area, realignment of the Fairbanks curve anticipated to decrease crashes in this section alone by more than 70%. The Florida Department of Transportation is planning to construct all of these transportation improvements on I-4 by entering into a public-private partnership with a private entity. The Florida Department of Transportation will contract with this entity and shift responsibility to design, build, finance, operate, and maintain the facility for approximately 40 years. This enables the project improvements to be completed nearly 10 years ahead of time, creating much needed jobs in the area and improving the daily lives of Central Floridians by easing the area's traffic problems. Construction is estimated to take approximately six years.
What this does is get a project built now, leverage the low interest rates that we have, leverage the low construction pricing we got, and put pos positions Orlando, Central Florida, and State of Florida to be on offense on attracting the tourism that we want to attract and grow Central Florida the way we want to see it grow. The Florida Department of Transportation is excited for the role this project will play in the department's overall vision for Central Florida. This is another step forward in FDOT's commitment to provide the most advanced and effective transportation system in the country. For more information on the project, please visit our website at www.movingforward.com.